guys and girls, uh, today we're going to be talking about another charismatic species, um, specifically Gnathanodon speciosus, otherwise known as the golden kingfish. Now the name Gnathanodon, excuse me, comes from um, the fact that they've got no, no teeth, it means toothless, so, so it's actually just got a little rasping type plates on the front, as opposed to some of the other kingfishes you get, got little teeth that are all run all the way on, and then speciosus, uh, is derived from the word beautiful so it's a very beautiful toothless fish if that makes sense now the golden kingfish in australia called golden trevelli some other place in the world as well but we call all of our kingies kingies now it's a very very beautiful fish got an overall sort of golden almost olivey type color to it but uh, more so in the juveniles and as they get older they get a little bit more silver to them and they've got these very strong bars that run down, down the body, uh, interspersed all the way along. In general, sort of the same kind of sizing as your, or shaping as a, say a brassy kingfish, that's slightly more elongated. Um, and then they've got big fleshy lips and a protruding mouth. So the mouth they use with the fleshy lips, they actually use to go and filter through the sand. They jut the jaw out and that will force the sand or anything that's in the sand into the mouth and then it gets pushed through the gill rakers and anything that's uh, edible or, or th th that they want to eat they can then ingest. So the gill rakers are those little, if you look, if you've ever uh, gutted a fish or gilled it, you'll find on the actual gill arches themselves, there's these little spikes that sit along like that. Those are called your gill rakers. Some fish have got more and sharper ones, so if you put your hand in the gills you can actually cut your fingers quite badly. That's a little subside. So yeah, as we mentioned, the, the type of mouth and the way their jaw works lends themselves to feeding in sand. Um, in Australia, they're a prolific uh, saltwater fly fishing target because they feed on the flats, those uh, shallow sandy areas. They, they move along and just eat any worms, prawns and small little fish that they can shoot out with their, with their jaws. Now in terms of South Africa, you're really only going to get them from Tugela mouth north and only in really in the summer are you going to find them um, along the Zululand coast. Now in terms of your targeting and size wise, size they get up to about 1.2 meters which is about I think about 15 kilos or thereabouts. So you know it gets to quite a hefty fish um, and then when we look into Mozambique it's a really more a bigger area where you can target them a bit more efficiently but you're outside you're looking live baits small live baits so little razor bellies in estuaries they love a little swimming prawn if you can get a swimming prawn just hook it lightly in the back flick them out they love eating that as well as your marine worms and things they, they also eat those but it's because of how they feed so when it comes to actually targeting these guys they're very very strong fighters for their size so you want to fish as light as possible um, obviously within limits but yeah, light tackle spinning with small spoons, uh, as we mentioned, fly fishing is very, very good for them. Uh, drop shot fishing with, with the smaller minnows, obviously with the bigger fish you're going to go for the bigger minnows. And then they're not really as prolific on the top water. So unlike the other kingies where you can throw plugs and things like this, the golden kingy generally feeds lower down, but that's because his style of feeding is more on the bottom. So if you can bounce little shrimp imitations and things like that along the bottom, you, you're really in, in for a good time. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful fish, one which does make good eating, but something that's uh, quite a rare catch for us down this side, so I'd recommend you guys let them go. It's a lot prettier swimming away than it is in a frying pan. So yeah, the golden kingfish, lovely light tackle game fish, and uh, definitely one to have on your species list. Cheers guys.